What's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. Today I wanted to do a short video on repairing a tarp, one of my rain tarps. I have uh, an ENO uh, Profly rain tarp that is part of my one link sleep system. But uh, I had this up when, uh, when a storm came and a small branch came and, and anytime you're going to do a camp check or you're going to set up camp, you want to make sure you look overhead if there's any widow makers. Um, but this wasn't a big branch, but it was big enough to put a small hole in my tarp. Stoney, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. Um, try to get the light on it. Right here. It's really small, but it did go through. You're picking that little bit of detail up. Here, and then on the underside, you can see it as well. And that's enough to form a drip, absolutely. So that's the little bit I want to repair. It's not big. It's not a big tear, um, but... Good friends at ENO sent this repair kit to me, contacted them, um, and this is good for the hammocks as I think it says says on the front, but it is uh, also um, rated for the tarps. And I'm going to try it for the first time, I've never used this particular, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, type of repair kit, you know, patch kit. Um, so we're going to do it for the first time, we're going to try it out, and I'll definitely do an updated video once I get it out, get a chance to do it. and. As a real before I before I actually get into it, I just want to make a quick quick comment is um, you know one of the reasons why I like E and I like supporting that company is there's a lot of a lot of companies out there that have a lot of good quality gear, but what sort of sets uh, companies apart in my mind, I know for others as well, is is the customer service and the people behind the products. When there's that relationship there, it just you know it makes me want to work with with uh, with the people you know, say the gear, just the gear. But anyways, I'm gonna get this out of the package now. And it's just a square. This side, on this side, is the where the actual rubber type gooey, patchy thing. You're probably not gonna be able to see it, um, but there is on the lip here. You can see there's a little bit of a margin where this is running on each side of it. See the difference. But anyways, what I'm gonna do basically is put a, cut a square out of this. I'm gonna use a uh, Gerber Flick multi tool. It has a pair of scissors on it. Basically, I'm going to cut a square, about an inch by an inch, round off the edges, and then put this over, put this over the hole. And they're recommending whenever you cut these squares to to round off the corners before you put it on. I think that's just obviously it'll it, it'll make it a little bit harder for this to unravel or sort of peel up on itself with the rounded edge as opposed to just the square corner. But there will definitely be. Um, a follow-up video to this on this you know, effectiveness of this Whether it's raining or I just set it up and dump a bunch of water on it. We'll see what happens. So there's my square I'm just gonna round these edges off a little bit now It's round somewhere in the world Getting used to the way these scissors feel Making sure I keep my trash on the tarp so I don't pick it up when I'm finished. Don't want to any, leave any litter out here. Alright. Go back to find my hole. Kind of want to get this flat. Get it kind of even. I don't want to put any pressure. I don't want to stretch this at all, but I want it to be flat sort of sitting flush so I can really control where I'm getting contact with this. So basically I'm just going to peel this a little bit back, get it started, and put it on it. We're just going to see how it goes as trial and error. Just try to get some of this back. If you'll be able to see the detail or not, maybe not. It's really small and it's clear obviously, so it might not show up on the camera, but... Don't want that to happen. Pay attention. Well, we'll see what happens. I got half of it peeled back. I'm gonna go make some contact with the tarp and try to get it nice and flush. You want it, Stoney? Try 
kind of just work it down even evenly now. Make sure there's contact everywhere. Now, it doesn't say anything about drying time on this. Alright, now it's saying that I want to do the same on the reverse side of it as well. I'm going to cut a little hole, cut a little square out of this again and repeat it. Put another uh, patch on the back. This is really nice too. Shears. Not the prettiest, but should do her job. Let's just get the cutter flat. Peel back, start peeling back one of the corners. Get some absorption to it. Oops. Take it down here. Even this out. This is so humid out. Light, firm, and even as I go down for the first time. all over evenly coming straight down from the top now I'll kind of just work it in there one second let me see something good just push it over and get a little more vigorous with it so if you have any uh tried and true method for repairing tarps for water waterproof repairs any products you use I'd love the I love to know leave a comment let me know but <clears throat> definitely do a follow-up video to this maybe today maybe I'll just go dump some water there's a chance of rain coming so maybe I'll have my tarp up and actually do a real world uh, real scenario test but if not there'll be a video um, see how this holds up thanks for watching this is Crick signing out with black outdoors later turtles <laughs>